it's Sita. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. This week's Play With Me video is going to be for the first full week of July. Actually, no, the first week of July. And I am using a kit from Sadie Stickers. I did get this in a Oops kit grab bag and the colors are a little bit different. I do do a comparison, but the first two pages of the kit has a more brighter green and then the bottom washi as well as functional page has this really pretty like seafoam green which i really really liked um but laying it down and looking at the spread as a whole it doesn't look too different like it doesn't really clash so i think i did a pretty good job with spreading out the colors but this clip art isn't typically what i would gravitate towards and generally with grab bags, you're not really able to pick out whatever it is that you receive in them. So yeah, I didn't I didn't know that I was gonna get this kit, but it actually fit this week really well. One of my closest planner friends, T, a plenty of planning had came to visit and we did some fun activities. We went to like a winery, we had some pool time. I wore a dress this week, so maybe I'm channeling that girl in the full box, but yeah, I think it fit pretty well and felt very summery. The green is super pretty. And yeah, I did something a little bit different this week where I took bigger foil deco stickers and used them as underlays for my day covers because this kit um, didn't have any deco with it. And I actually really liked how it looks like. I used Joe's butterfly stickers, um, Joe from Ice Cream Joe Plans. She has these foiled butterflies that belongs in like an Ariana Grande bundle and I had a bunch left over. So I used those and absolutely loved how it looked like that I, for the next few weeks, I decided to do something similar um, with the day cover section where I would just take like a foil or some sort of like clear sticker and layered it underneath. And it looks so cute. I think the butterfly wings like peeking out from underneath the stickers just adds so much interest and it looks like the butterflies are kind of like floating along the top and it actually inspired me to start making foil stickers that are a lot bigger and like deco sized or journaling sized so that i can use it at the top and if you guys are already doing this or enjoy this kind of thing um i will have it in the shop very soon i'm just unsure of like what i want to do i know like with my shop it's definitely centered around like space and like celestial themes and stuff so i figured maybe my first set could be that and then i will start incorporating other designs but yeah i really really love this so much this part turned out bomb i even if i didn't really like this clip art i think it just looks so like whimsical and airy and i don't know the birds are super cute but also there is something important that i want to highlight in the beginning of this video in my previous video, I was talking a lot about Roe v. Wade and um, a commenter had left something very important that I think should be shared. Um, they basically said that cis women are not the only people who can have children, so can non-binary people and trans men. Please don't leave us other folks with wounds out of the conversation. And I definitely agree. It was something that I misspoke on. I agree 100% on this comment and I think that is a very important conversation and topic to also have when you are talking about Roe v. Wade or just in general. Um, it's something to educate yourself on and I apologize if anybody had watched that video and felt that I was leaving, leaving them out of the conversation. That was not my intent. So definitely an important conversation to highlight. So yeah, other than that, I do hope you guys are all doing well and that summer is treating you kindly. It is so hot here. I am ready for it to be over. I'm ready for the fall candles, the weather, the pumpkins, Halloween, cozying up with the book. Like, I'm just tired <laughs> of this weather. But anyway, so getting into this week's plans. So Monday, I did mark Coffee Monday. I had a Zoom session with the girls. And I apologize if I sound a little bit different in this this portion of the voiceover. I ended up taking a break so that I can go run errands. And now it is currently 9 p.m. Just want to get this voiceover out so that I can upload this video. And yeah, so I had a Zoom session with uh, T and Joe as well as my friend Zena, I think, on this day. And then 
I was continuing working on my rebrand for the website. I did get a bunch of messages saying how they really liked my new paper and um, they were really excited to see where my shop would go in the future. So thank you so much to everybody who purchased during the rebrand. I am working hard on some new releases coming very, very soon and I hope you guys enjoy that as well. But on this day, I was continuing on listings. I also posted on Instagram for what? I don't remember. Oh, I reopened this week. Okay. So yeah, after that, I ended up cleaning the office as well as my room. Something that I've been trying to get better at is keeping clean spaces just for my mentality and uh, I guess making me feel inspired to work. Um, usually when there's a lot of clutter, I feel like my mind is cluttered. So clearing up my space and providing room for good energy, I guess, helps me a lot. So I actually need to clean my room again. Um, but after that, to finish off my night on Monday, I did start a Korean drama called Fight For My Way, which is really good. I highly recommend it, especially if you guys are fans of Park So Jun. He was in Itaewon class that you can watch on Netflix, but Fight For My Way is only on Viki. But nonetheless, a really, really good drama. And then moving into Tuesday, I was super tired on this day. Um, I did fix my sleep schedule on this week because T was coming into town and I knew that I was going to spend a lot of time with her as well as my friend Zena. So I wanted to fix my sleep as much as I could. So I think I stayed up pretty late on Monday night and then leading into Tuesday morning, I forced myself to kind of just start the day a little bit earlier, even though I only got like a couple of hours of sleep. Um, but I did mark I was tired AF and then I continued working on my website and fixed the little things that I didn't particularly like in the past. And it's not that much different, but I wanted to make sure that my menu bar or whatever was a lot, um, I guess smaller because there's some new things that I ended up taking out and or like putting in and then I took out some old things and stuff like that. I don't have any more functional stickers, but hopefully in my next new release, I will bring functional stickers back into the shop. Maybe some icons. I'm working on those foiled underlays that I was talking about, not necessarily like bougie boxes, um, but like the ones that you see in this spread on the um, date cover section. I really wanted to bring in like big foil, like journaling stickers. So. After that, I posted on Instagram of the new kits that I was releasing on Friday and then I got fried chicken for my family and then continued watching the drama called Fight For My Way and then later on that night, I guess I was just in my feelings for what I don't remember but I think I was super stressed out usually during spring and summer. I have seasonal depression. I'm just gonna like put it out there. Um, it never fails. Every year during spring and summer, I get super sad, super depressed, feeling real weird, and Tuesday night was definitely not an exception. I think this was one of the worst weeks this year where I was just having a really hard time trying to like exist in my existence, I guess. Um, I was trying to sort through my thoughts and what was making me upset and trying to figure out what it was, what I could do in order to make myself feel a little bit better. So wasn't my feelings on Tuesday night. And then on Wednesday, I did sleep in and then I woke up to tidy my office. But I think I actually meant to put that I organized my stickers, but didn't feel like wasting that half box. So I just left it as it was. But after that, I continued working a little bit more on my website and making sure that everything for my new releases was finalized. And then I got my baby sister, Kami, ready for ballet. It was her first day on this day, and I was really excited for her. She was also really excited. She's super flexible and really active. When she's at home, she's always jumping off of things and stuff, but um, we wanted to get her into like an activity that can burn off some energy, but also she is a huge gamer, so she'll stay posted on her iPad. Um, so we wanted to get her into something that would like get her out of the house as well. But um, yeah, it was her first day of ballet. I didn't end up going with her, but my mom and my other little sister did, and they said that she did pretty well. My little sister, I don't think I've mentioned it on this channel before, but she um, 
so her doctors think that she may have autism or some form of ADHD or something along the lines of that. So it is a little bit hard for her to focus sometimes. And I don't know, but she did pretty well. So I was really proud of her. Um, after that, I did make some pasta and continued watching Fight for My Way. And then moving into Thursday, I had a pretty early start because this is when T came into town. I wanted to work a little bit and I think post some pictures on Instagram. So I did do that before T arrived. And then the fun week started. So as soon as T arrived, she was staying at my friend Zena's house and we ended up deciding to go ahead and get some lunch. So we went to a really good Vietnamese brunch place called Saigon Oi. And <laughs> it was really good, but I ended up actually, during our conversation as we were eating, ended up saying Oi, like really, really loud. And then everybody in the restaurant like kind of looked and I was like, oh shit. Like, I didn't mean to say that, but tell me your Vietnamese without telling me your Vietnamese, right? But anyway, after that we did go to a matcha ice cream place called Maiko, which was in the same plaza. It was really good. The matcha was super creamy. And usually I find that whenever I do get like matcha ice cream, it tends to be super sweet, but it was actually really, really good and not super sweet. So I did really like that place. And then to end off our Thursday, we went to Zena's mom's house because she has a pool in her backyard. Oh my gosh, I swear it's always my phone going off whenever I record voiceovers. I'm so sorry, but we ended up getting into the pool. We had some emotional conversations and then played a game of palace. And then moving into Friday, I got ready for the day. This was the day that I wore a dress in a really long time. I even did my makeup and I also had new releases on this day. We had brunch at a place called 15L, which was super good. And then we went to a coffee shop called Old Soul, which is a pretty good coffee shop. And then to have a little bit of a girl's day or whatever, we went to a winery in Elk Grove and I got a little too drunk. And I knocked out at my friend Cena's house while everybody was having like meaningful and deep conversations. I felt so bad because it was the last night that I could have like hung out with T a lot, but I was a little too drunk and fell asleep on the couch. So, um, but overall it was a pretty fun, like two days with tea and I would do it all over again. Maybe not drink that much wine at the winery, but it was, it was fun nonetheless. Uh, moving into Saturday, I was a little bit hungover. So I did eat a whole bunch of wing stop and it did really hit the spot. So that was nice. Just being able to have a little bit of time to myself, eat a bunch of wings and watch like YouTube videos. But also it has been two weeks since I recorded this voiceover and I never finished it. So here I am going back at it. Um, I am super behind on my spreads. I filmed everything like I caught up like weeks ago, but it's been so hard trying to upload these voiceovers. Like I don't have the drive to upload voiceovers that often anymore, but I'm trying to get back into it. It's something that I actually used to really love so hopefully I can but after marking that I had Wingstop I watched TikTok for hours I also cried over animal videos I think on this day I was watching a whole bunch of elephant videos and just cried my eyes out I don't know I just really like watching animal videos so <laughs> after that I did fall asleep really early and slept for 12 hours so I did mark that for Sunday um, I guess I was just catching up on my sleep because after a few good weeks of having really bad insomnia, but also fixing my sleep schedule um, to hang out with T and Xena. I think I finally was just like, my body was like shutting down. So I did sleep for 12 hours. I had a good morning coffee session to myself, just hanging out in my office and trying to figure out what it was that I wanted to tackle on for the day. So I did also mark that I designed and cut some stickers. I uploaded a new video and had a conspiracy talk with one of my good friends, Savette, later that night over the phone. And those are the nights that I really, really love the most because I find that when I do have really bad insomnia, it's because my thoughts are always all over the place. So being able to talk about something that can give me a little bit of escapism 
definitely just helps me fall asleep. And I know that's crazy because a lot of people find conspiracy theories to be overwhelming or a little bit scary and stuff, but I genuinely really enjoy it. So yeah, this is how the spray turned out. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that this voiceover wasn't as, I was gonna say organized, but I don't think that is the correct word, but wasn't as great as my previous videos. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. It's escaping me. So I do hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully I have new releases up very soon and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.